Yo, it's your boy Coinstock here, back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a friend trying to educate you. Alright guys, well, whew, brother, um, there's a lot of news that's just been going by because of the uh, launch pad, for sure. The launch pad has been pumping out babies right but today i'm just gonna have like a variety kind of uh news because i need to you know speed through all these uh, launch pad projects and kind of give you my general consensus on it now later in the video we're gonna metf is getting a kind of like a strategic uh, strategic change to it so we'll look at that at the end but first we gotta look at all this stuff first so this is the circulating supply, total supply, max supply. Oh, and also, uh, remember those two videos, previous videos I've made about MM Optimizer. Um, the proposal is no more. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm very elated about that, but there was like a weird little tweet that had a little uh, tweak to it. We'll see it for sure, but you'll see. You'll see. So let's just go, <laughs> go ahead and get into it. So market cap, $310 million. And by the way, uh, we're now rank number 213 and that's like what the last time we looked at that it was like 268 or something like that and now it's all the way down to 213 how high are we gonna go liquidity keeps going up now the value is kind of you know sustaining this level right now near like 1.55 but you know you know how crypto is people buy people sell but yet again, this is protocol owned, like a pro protocol owned liquidity deck. So we'll definitely see some stuff going on. You know how it goes. But let's go ahead and look at the uh, chart. And you know, still just a blip on the map. Wait, let me try to do one year to make it look more clean. Or maybe not. 180? We'll forget about it. Look at this cleanness, okay? Look at this. You know, that's just a little blip on the map right there. We were at an all-time, I guess, all-time high of a dollar eighty-five cents, and that was two days ago. And we're fifteen point two percent in the red on that. Now let's go ahead and go to Chrono Scan real quick. Now Chrono Scan, we got twenty-eight thousand two hundred twenty-eight addresses, so it's still steadily climbing. You know. Let's see, the other day, or yesterday I should say, 27,961, so that's not bad, we're still climbing up, but now, let's get into the little first bit of news. Well, first of all, I got a, a crypto uh, Twitter, so go ahead and follow me on there if you'd like, links in the description if you need so or anyway, but that's beside the point, let's go ahead and look at the uh, tweet that MM Finance made about the MMO proposal. All right, so let's scroll up. Hi, all. The MMF team has taken all your feedback into consideration regarding the first ever MMO governance proposal. At MM, we particularly enjoy high-level discussions in which our MMO governance proposal clearly was a subject where many insights were observed and appreciated. Now, we have hence decided to commit more time to sift through these higher tier comments and data and re-enter idea sculpting discussions. The goal is to further refine our existing plans and build a stronger MMO governance proposal. Having built MMO into the current beast that it is today is not easy is not an easy feat. All was achieved through sheer hard work from our team and the mad support from all of you. By no means do we wish to weaken the foundation we have set up. Do await a more bullish proposal from our team as we look through all possible scenarios. Expect a new proposal within a week or two. So, I mean, it's all well and good. Like, we should we should be happy with ourselves. Absolutely happy with ourselves that this, uh, this is not, not passed. Now... To meanwhile, the proposal wasn't posted because it seemed like a lot of people were butthurt about it. But, but, we got to be hesitant a little bit because it says, do await a more bullish proposal from our team as we look through all possible scenarios expecting a new proposal within a week or two. So, I mean, the other proposal, right? And, like, it was, it was considered bullish to the team, so... And I was kind of hesitant on that one, so I'm kind of hesitant on this one, but we'll see. It's whatever. Now, another bit of news after this, like we're done with this piece of news. There's another piece of news, too, is that MM Finance has been pumping out babies left and right, right? <laughs> like they just pumped out Scrub Finance. Well, Scrub Finance is a multi 
token protocol, which consists of the following to, uh, two tokens, Lion and Tiger shares. Lion is pegged to the price of one SVN, not MMF, SVN via signage. So uh, Lion is also the first algorithmic stablecoin pegged to SVN. Now, you were probably, well, actually, let's go ahead and look at a finished project that also released called Pegasus Dollar that people are also saying, uh, what's kind of going on here? The Pegasus Dollar Protocol was created by the Pegasus team as a Kronos chain algorithmic token pegged to METF. It involves an innovative solution that can adjust the stablecoin supply deterministically to move the price of the stablecoin in the direction of a target price to bring programmability and interoperability to DeFi. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, this sounds oddly, this sounds the same as Scrub Finance, and Scrub Finance sounds like the same for SVN. That's true. However, there are differences. For SVN, it's trying to stay pegged to the uh, MMF and then scrub finance is trying to stay pegged to METF I do believe no one SVN to one SVN and then Pegasus dollars trying to stay connected to one METF now people are like oh what's with all this monotony right but honestly I see it as uniformity if that makes sense like MMF it started with MMO and you can use for instance you could use MMO and um well you could use like mmf and like mmf uh, like subsidiaries i should say like you know like usdc and crow you can use that in mmo and you can also find uh like the pegasus dollar with metf and like they're partnered with mmo but also the project that came after mmo was svn finance i do believe so if mmf what i'm trying to say here is if mmf came out with its own algorithmic stable coin and then let's say that algorithmic stable coin which is you know svn is also getting its own and like the just consider it like projects svn's getting its own um algorithmic stable coin tomb fork um mmf has its own and now METF has its own. So they're all kind of building the same, they're using the same formula that MMF has done so far, where they uh, they have like a auto compounding pools on MMO. Now they're trying to get a um, st algorithmic stable coin and so on. Maybe there might be a project next after that, like for instance, like an METF structure for SVN who knows who knows I think it's uniformity and you can't be mad at uniformity and also it just brings in more capital into the MM finance uh, ecosystem so and you could also look at scrub.finance by going to scrub.finance I mean it's the same as looking at SVN finance and same with uh, Pegasus dollar too. You can look at the website. It's the same as us being finance. It's just, you know, different uh, tokenomics. So yeah, there's that. And let's go ahead and look at this final news. METF's first strategic reboot re-engineered for a more sustainable growth. So METF is having a strategic reboot because the MM finance devs feel like it's not living to its full potential but let's get into it let's get into it so the METF token has boomed from a 1 million dollar market cap token to a market cap of close to 73 million dollars okay so that's nothing to laugh at like that's what it's the third well okay so there's MMF MMO SVN and then METF came next yeah, so it's the fourth project and it's seeing all this capital flooding in. I'm honestly shocked because it was an ohm fork and you know how ohm forks are, you know, but it's still, you know, it's still booming. It's still got its own market cap, right? Now, the METF token acts as an index for the health of the MM ecosystem. Recent price action has gone against this fundamental fact, and hence the team will be making adjustments to ensure the METF token represents a fair value of itself. Before that, let us take a look at some platform statistics. And there's statistics talking about the 30 million US dollars in assets under management, which is basically the treasury. 
and that uh, people are getting diluted out of their positions. That's basically what it is. It's quite lackluster, but like a strategic reset, as we know it, the METF protocol is governed by multiple policies and strategies to grow its backing and token value over time. Today, our team will unveil the following set of changes to boost token value. All right, so we will be heavily reducing the bond discount discount to reduce dilution to current ETF holders. The reason that this is a sensible decision now is because the AUM assets under management is very healthy at $30 million in assets. Over time, because these assets have been placed in yield farming strategies, it will grow organically over time. The team will now look to actively lower the market cap through the burning of METF tokens through a refined strategy. The team will be investing METF from the protocol's treasury into Pegasus dollar to earn a healthy APR. So the Pegasus dollar is pegged to the METF and they're going to be buying that up and uh, using that as more, uh, like, I guess, like more protocol owned liquidity within its own right for METF. All METF, PES, SPES tokens that are earned from this act will be spent sent to the furnace so they will actually be burned so that's even uh better well furnace i i i believe is burning that's what i've seen in adamant finance with uh their uh yield optimizer but let's continue so buying metf pegged assets with the use of metf does not dump metf prices it is a market neutral act this will shore up interest and demand in METF ecosystem assets to create a flywheel effect of funds returning into the METF ecosystem, allowing us to now have a fair value of the METF token being represented against the health of a currently positive ecosystem. The strategy acts as a loan from the METF protocol, where it will eventually be returned in the form of token burns that is sure to exceed the original amount invested. The DCA will only start after the launch pad on 8th April to create the maximum impact. Currently, there is protocol-owned liquidity locked in the AUM, but it is not as ideal as we would have hoped. This creates wild swings in price that hurts METF holders. Yes, that, that is true. This is also why the team will be setting up an, a METF MMF uh, to pump out METF farm to promote the provisioning of liquidity. More liquidity will equate to a more stable price, resulting in less volatility. And that's kind of just talking about what, what that means. And that's kind of the end note. So there's going to be that, that strategic change to METF. I mean, uh, look at that with uh, caution or with... Uh, you know, elation. I mean, it's all up to you. I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. That's kind of all the news that there is for today. So um, other than that, I guess I'll, uh, you know, see you guys later.